Hi, I'm Tyler Vanderplug from Viavi Solutions, and I'm here with Koji Okamoto, head of our fiber field test instruments team. And Koji, I wanted to talk with you today about test process automation. Now, this is something that Viavi introduced several years ago, but recently you guys have added a couple of really exciting new things. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that today? Yeah, sure. So we started out in the, uh, in the cable world, uh, in this automation uh, process. This probably goes way back 10 years plus. Uh, but now we see a lot of dynamics with the fiber growth. It could be build, you know, activation, connecting. So we, you know, we decided to pivot that, you know, to help the industry out to be able to uh, automate the process for fiber. So you're rolling out new applications for fiber. This opens up a world of new applications and opportunities. Where do you start? Yeah. So maybe I can start out with the uh, fiber activation uh, for FTTH. Um, and in this case, there could be a lot there. You know, it could be a power meters, it could be a, a figuring out where the drop cable is about, you may have to do the speed test, there's a lot. So for the technician who are not familiar with the FTTH, to really remember all the test parameters, what test to run, when to run it, is, is a lot. So we really worked hard on creating automating process that enabled them to see what needs to be done for those uh, activation tasks, and also management team to be able to track the compliance and progress and maybe area for improvements and, and so on. Yeah, so home service activation. How do our customers see this changing the game? Yeah, I think again, the biggest game, the challenge for them is they just don't have enough people who are familiar with the fiber, right? So especially most of these technicians come from either cable background or could be DSL background. So in order for them to be familiar with the fiber side, you got to be able to scale the, all the connections and troubleshooting with the technician that they have or contractor they be using. So this helped them to be able to really scale the operation without having 100% perfect uh, you know, fiber knowledge in that work. We're probably gonna see a lot of new fiber folks uh, discover TPA for the first time. For those who aren't familiar with it, can you give a brief explanation from a customer's perspective of how it all works for them? So we got a couple, you know, a few components in this, you know, TPA that we have. So we start out with a cloud software we call Stratasync, and that gives them the platform to create the job, you know, type of test parameters, pass fail, configuration, you name it. So you can set that up and then you can send it through our VRB mobile tech app, which you will be able to pass that through to the instruments. And the instrument do all the tests, you send it back up, and it's a geocode it, timestamp it, go back to the cloud, and then the executive can really see the progress or lack of, and so on, so you can take actions around it. So really simplification from the field technician's experience on the instrument side. Yeah, absolutely. They're just gonna see like a job that you can press, and all the parameters automatically set up, so you don't have to really know about that. So home service activation sounds incredible. What other applications are you guys looking into for yeah, fiber? Yeah, another big use case here you can see is the uh, traditional like core OTDRs and uh, construction side of the fence. So we worked also hard on this area. It could be high fiber count testing, it could be bi-directional tests, or it could be unidirectional tests. So all these different test co combinations. One of the great things about OTDR is you can do a lot with it. But the tough part is there's a million different ways to configure it. So this enables them to really configure in the specific type of jobs, so automate it, and all the fiber information, including like our fiber labels and so on for high fiber count. So you're just trying to limit as much of those manual processes as possible. So I guess in summary, in closing, how would you wrap up some of the key benefits of test process automation to our new fiber customers? That's good. So I've met a lot of execs in the last, let's say, six to nine months, and one of the consistent challenges they have is the ability to scale the, either the construction or activation uh, without sacrificing the quality, but they just can't find the people to do. So that means they have to expand to non-fiber familiar work group, and the only way to make that happen is to automate the process and eliminate a lot of manual steps that causes those type of mistakes and challenges. So, and then be able to give that visibility into the management team so they know what's working, what's not working, so they can tweak the process. Yeah, all the analytics. Well, thanks yeah. again, Koji. I really appreciate, oh, appreciate the chance it. to talk today. Yes. For more information, you can visit us at viavisolutions.com slash TPA or contact your Viavi sales representative.